Hello and welcome to Mythology Explained, the channel where we explore the fascinating stories of ancient cultures. Today, we are going to tell you the story of Eros and Psyche, a Greek myth about the god of love and a mortal princess. It is a tale of passion, betrayal, and redemption, with comic illustrations and narration. Psyche was a beautiful princess who was worshipped by mortals and envied by Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty and love. Aphrodite was so jealous of Psyche that she ordered her son, Eros, the god of love, to make Psyche fall in love with a monster. Eros agreed to do his mother's bidding, but when he saw Psyche, he was struck by her beauty and wounded himself with his own arrow. He fell in love with Psyche and decided to save her from the monster. He arranged for Psyche to be taken to a palace by Zephyr, the West Wind, and married her. However, he did not reveal his identity to Psyche and only visited her at night, in the dark. Psyche enjoyed a luxurious life with invisible servants, but she longed to see her husband's face and know who he was. She also missed her family and asked Eros to let her see her sisters. Eros agreed, but warned Psyche not to listen to her sister's advice. He knew that they were jealous of Psyche and would try to harm her. Psyche's sisters came to visit her and saw the palace and the riches. They asked Psyche about her husband and Psyche told them that she did not know who he was. Her sisters convinced her that he was a monster and that she should see his face and kill him. Psyche was scared and curious, so she followed her sister's plan. She waited until Eros was asleep and lit a lamp. She saw that her husband was not a monster, but a god. She was amazed by his beauty and grace, but as she leaned over to kiss him, a drop of oil fell from the lamp and burned his shoulder. Eros woke up and saw Psyche with the lamp and the knife. He felt betrayed and hurt, and flew away from Psyche. Psyche tried to follow him, but he was too fast. She fell to the ground and cried. Psyche realized that she had lost her husband and her happiness. She decided to search for Eros and beg for his forgiveness. She wandered around the world and served different goddesses, hoping to find Eros. She faced many dangers and hardships, but she did not give up. She also learned that her sisters had died after trying to reach the palace and take her place. Psyche's last task was given by Aphrodite, who still hated her. Aphrodite asked Psyche to go to the underworld and bring back a box of beauty from Persephone, the queen of the dead. Psyche managed to get the box, but she was tempted to open it and see what was inside. She hoped that it would make her more beautiful and worthy of Eros. However, when she opened the box, she found nothing but a deep sleep. She fell into a coma and lay on the ground. Eros, who had recovered from his wound and still loved Psyche, found her and woke her up. He took the box and returned it to Aphrodite. He then asked Zeus, the king of the gods, to make Psyche a goddess and let them be together. Zeus agreed and gave Psyche a cup of ambrosia, the drink of immortality. Psyche drank it and became a goddess. She was reunited with Eros and they hugged and kissed. They had a daughter named Hedone, who was the goddess of pleasure. And that is the story of Eros and Psyche, a Greek myth about the god of love and a mortal princess. It is a story that shows that love can overcome all obstacles and that true beauty is in the soul. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more Mythology Explained. Thank you for watching and see you next time.